My name is Anamita Guha, and I work at IBM Watson. And I'm um, in their developer labs, which is kind of like a, a scrappy startup solution within IBM. Cool. And we are working on all the cool things like AR, VR, IoT, all of that. Awesome. Um, is there something in particular that interests you about bots, or like when did you discover them, or chat interfaces? Yeah. Yeah. So I studied cognitive science in school, and I concentrated in a few things, but one of the things I concentrated in was linguistics. And I've always been interested in language and how humans communicate. And I think it's very, very interesting to me because it's the voice is very powerful. Um, you can convey a lot of things with just a simple sound. So I, th I think it's, it's, it's a really interesting world that we live in where we can actually find intersections between technology and the voice and our words. Amazing. Um, thinking about kind of the future, right? Where do you see conversational interfaces going? So I think it depends on what you define as a con conversation. I think everything is a conversation. So anything that needs to express something or communicate something will have a conversational interface. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I'll get there in three or five years, but eventually I could see everything being interactive and everything being communicated. Very cool. Um, in terms of language, mm -hmm. like, what are some interesting, you know, are, are there any interesting stories around, um, since you have studied them yeah, in, yeah. in the cognitive sciences, uh, what should people working on bots or conversational interfaces look like? Is there anything about language itself that? Yeah, great uh, question. Yeah. So know, yeah. many things. I think the first thing that actually comes to mind that's probably the most relevant is your language actually shapes your thought. And there's a lot of research in that field. Um, the way, like you, if you, if your language has five words for the color blue then you're actually able to discern different shades of blue better. Um, some cultures have a left-right concept for um, direction, and whereas other cultures have a cardinal um, relation, so north and south. So um, it really changes the way you perceive the world and how you interact with everyone around you. So I would encourage people that are building bots or doing whatever, um, any form of communication to really understand who the end user is, what language they're speaking, and um, maybe what other languages they do speak. And then that will actually change how you would want your interface to be. Wow, that's fascinating. Cool. And then just to finish things up, um, as a technologist, someone mm -hmm. working in, in the technology field, can you think of a time, like maybe when you were younger, um, that particularly kind of turned you on to this tech space or the building space mm. um, in general? Just like it could have, was it was a website, a device, a TV show? Yeah. yeah uh, book, so yeah. I was lucky because my parents both work in tech. So mm -hmm. growing up, I was, there was always a new tech gadget at our house. I um, was playing with computers since as young as I can remember. And, at age nine, I was on Neopets and AIM and all these things, building guilds and designing websites. So I've always been very immersed in technology. Um, so I don't know if there's like any one moment, but I think what I do enjoy in the time we're alive right now specifically is just the way you connect with people. And I see when I travel now, I'm maybe posting something with a geotag and I have 10 people from way different walks of life reaching out to me and I find that really, truly special. Cool. Thank you so much for your time.